I know this isn't a very hot take. I'm not alone in this, but it's so frustrating that Nicole Kessinger had obvious guilty knowledge, whatever, allegedly, blah, 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 not making any accusations here, but looking at those texts that were sent back and forth between Chris and Nicole, it feels like it's obvious that she knew it was happening. And not only that, I think coming from her dad being in law enforcement, I think she was very aware of how to have no paper trail, so to speak, leading back to her. Um, Some people go as far as to say that she was with Chris on the night of. I don't think that's the case. I don't think she was sleeping there, but I do think she knew full well that what his plans were. And I think she knew once, once it happened. And also that creepy Barbie doll a text he sent her. Um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, where the doll was laying down and like smothered or whatever. What, what other reason? I mean, obviously we don't know their like inside jokes and blah, 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 but highly suspicious. And I have a feeling that something that wasn't made public is that Chris agreed to go along with some sort of bargain as long as it wouldn't implicate her at all. And I don't know what her father's relationship was to that particular precinct, um, if he worked there or if he worked in a different one. Um, But I'm sure people were pulling all kinds of strings for her in order for her to not be charged with anything like this. And that's what pisses people off so much is that she was this slippery, like, vixen character who inspired him, let's say, to do these things, which he did of his own accord with his own bare hands, and I don't think with any physical cooperation on her behalf, but she was the motive. I think she also knew about it, and she was ready to, like, reap the rewards of it, so to speak, and then seemingly gets off scot-free. I think that pisses people off, as it should, 